Hello and welcome to the Cable Space Program. My name is Negative Root and let's get cracking. Uh, hopefully this has worked. Um, don't know though. It really doesn't want to load into a previous save game, so we'll see uh, see how we go here. See if we can get it to work. As you can tell, I've got a few mods enabled, and it just takes a bit to load it in. Loading, loading, loading. Start game. Fingers crossed. Resume saved. Wonderful. There I was. Uh, I think it was because I edited the persistent file for the save. Because if I've done it right, we should have negative root Kerman and marbles Kerman. There we go. <laughs> Sweet. If you want a Kerbal, sing out. And I'll edit the persistent file and uh, put you in. But um, this uh, this will be good. Um, now, missions, missions, missions. Uh, unlock. Lock. What have we got active at the moment? Nothing really. We need to test a skipper. That uh, that might be a good one. Rescue Audrin Kerman from orbit. Got no science at the moment. Um, well, here's two landed contracts. So let's grab these. Landed, landed. We'll, uh, we'll complete these. We'll just load in our uh, test. Okay. Nope. LV1R and the skipper. So the LV1R is this one and that's a radial engine so that's good news and the skipper is here oh, theoretically if we go and test these now should work good and stuff. Now I'm trying something a bit different with my screen. So I'm playing in 720p at the moment and hopefully that's uh, that works. Stage? Yes, wonderful. 48 science and 27 science. Cover. Bring back the goodies. Now, we discovered that this had glitched out uh, yesterday, I reckon. Or was it working out? It should be, but anyway. Ah, uh, what else can we do? Contract science data from the round curve. Let's uh, take that. I wonder if. No, we don't. See, there's some engines in here that would, I would like, like the propellant engine and the Werner engine, and some of these little ones would be really, really handy. Because this is all you need to circularize the orbit of like a, a small space plane. <sighs> Bugger. So we're going to have to wait for that for the time being. We do have our bigger solar panel, so, which means that I'm thinking I'll we'll just spend a bit of time updating the Kerberdine sats. 
that was the most recent one. Because these bad boys don't have the power they need. keep that one. Now we'll get rid of this and this. Just throw that away for the moment. Now I believe I have a trident lifter. There we go. Which means we can ditch that and ditch that. Now we're back to just the, the bare probe. Now I'm thinking that I'll keep it something similar to this. So we've got our, yep, okay, got that, so we'll take away those solar panels. Now here's the thing, right, we need three of these. I might mount them up there. That looks right. Battery power is a huge issue currently. Right, so what we'll do here is we'll just uh, clip them through and we have an onboard battery pack. Should be more than enough power for it. Okay, so we got. All right, so we've got four sets of solar panels, tons of batteries. They're actually a little bit skew if in there. Let's see if I can grab. Don't look like I'm going to be able to. Uh oh. So that's that. Okay. Let's just have a quick look. I'm thinking that that is going to be a better option for the insertion engine now. Let's grab the base ring. Okay, because that's going to be our fairing top. This is going to be SAT 5. Save. And hopefully, this will enable better capabilities. I should just have a look at something here. for me. Save. So there we go. The satellite core costs us about 10,000. So that's pretty, pretty economical. I'm happy with that. Oops. That's not, uh, it's not on two time symmetry. Wonderful. Now it is. Okay. We've got battery power, we've got solar panels. We have happy, happy days. So we'll save this. We'll go to our action groups. 
Now action group one is going to toggle all of our antenna. And all of our solar panels. So I want all of them to move together. Um, if they don't, that's bad news. Because we're going to run out of power. Okay. So I'll save that. Um, I think we've got everything that we need there. Hopefully I haven't missed anything. Right, let's get our trident lifter. Yeah, we need to have a look and see if we can introduce a Rocco Max. that's a bugger we can do it but it's going to look ugly as sin it's got 6-4 on the pad yeah, it is more efficient that's for sure so we'll run with it and we'll strut it I think that's a good plan Boom, struts. Kind of looks a little bit like, a little bit like the old um, N1 and the Soyuz, not the Soyuz, the, um, those, those um, Soviet lifters. Now that has 6.4 now because this is uh, obviously lesser, it's, it's heavier than what it was before. So, we'll, uh, we'll have to run with that. I think we can get this into orbit tonight. 27,000 for that bad boy. And this this is hopefully going to replace our existing... Oh, guess what I forgot? Some fairings. Looks like we're coming back. Recover. get some fairings on it. I love the conic fairing. Okay. We'll just ignore the antenna sticking out the side. What do we have to? No we don't have to. Just beef up the radius a little bit. There we go. Looks nice. Let's launch it. Now this has to hit an orbit of about 1500. Okay, okay. Uh, check the staging quickly, deploy that. Hey, hang on a minute. What's this? What's this? Okay, that's that. Uh, we're going to put that at its own stage. So we're going to have booster separation, um, kick stepper separation, yeah, okay. That'll come after the, yeah, okay. That's how I want it to be. Consumables, throttle up, and that is crooked. There we go. So, yeah. <laughs> I don't 
9103. What do you use to keep a cute puppy in the yard? I'm dying to know. everything up and hopefully nothing breaks. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. We're gonna go for a... Oh, everything's standing up so far. Oh, 100 kilometer orbit. There it is. Not sure we got to go in the okay. But nothing left in the stage. So we'll just go here, power up. Okay. That gives us that. Oops, let's go back. Just stage quickly. This is a pretty cheap. I just want to have a look at something. See how much this is going to take to uh, circularize. No, it won't take 43 minutes. You're kidding. You're dreaming. Okay, 31 seconds. That's much better. I did ask, but. I'll put it in the chat now. I don't know. What what do you use to keep a cute puppy in the yard? Don't make me Google it. Pretty ugly looking satellite, all things considered. Should do the job for us though. So we'll need to burn it about 15 seconds. And then from there we'll go up to our parking orbit. Operational orbit, call it what you will. Off we go. jokes. I can, uh, I've got some. I've got some good ones. 
and I can uh, I'm not afraid to use them all right there we go that's circularized and we've got uh, okay so we've got a good bit of thingy left now here's what we could do here's what we could do right so we've got two choices with this to do with a satellite Can we do it? Or me? Let me go short there, whoop. Make extreme orbit sat sats for less off time of probes in high orbit. Mm, yeah, that's one idea, but I do have a contract out here, so I'm thinking that, that is what we'll attempt to do. Now once we're out here, what are we gonna how are we going to be able to do it? Is the question. Well Okay, we can do it. And I think we'll do it because uh, that is the current uh, current contract that we have. So it's going to take 90 seconds to uh, to get this probe out there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll just turn that off. Add in a node quickly. We're going to need yeah a minute. We'll be fine. To do that, we need 45 seconds of burn time, basically. Oh, a little bit less, uh, 42 or something. Okay, let's see. There we go. And uh, Kerbalator, welcome to the stream. Thanks for coming by. This will be interesting to see if my um, Gerbidon sets will actually uh, do the job for me. So the inclination is actually 2.9 degrees. Once I get out there I can... Uh, here we go. Why are we... Oh, we're in the dark side of the planet. That's outstanding. Nine, 
Room 6. Whoa! Shit! I don't want to do that. Son of a booby. That's pretty good. Now, what we'll do is just set a quick alarm for the... Uh, Apple Apsis. CDO. That's exactly how you spell it. CDO is exactly how you spell that. Now that... This will need to give us three minutes of warning. Thankfully, we just hit the right side of the plant. Why do we have no connection? How is that possible? Huh. Apparently, that's how that's possible. Alright. Got connections between the sat. Okay, there we go. Now we're getting it off the uh, off the uh, Kerbo stationary one. Seems like that's okay. So this will be interesting to see if our satellite system does reach out this far. Fingers crossed. Nope. Apparently not. That's a bugger. Range 50. Well, that should actually reach. What do we got? We still have 13 minutes. Uh, yes, but that annoys me how you need to set targets. It annoys me. So that has a connection, it's set to the active ship, and that was set for, I think. Where is it? Set for. And now I can't set. Fuck it. Son of a bitch, let me send the command. what I'm going to have to do is just go around for another lap. <laughs> Once I get down a little bit I can maybe target in one of the... Uh... Yes, better sat dishes is indeed what I need. I'm also still learning this freaking mod. It's, it's certainly making things hard, that's for sure.
Okay. Kerbin Einstein Sat 3. Kerbin Einstein Sat 4. Sat 2. Right, that should, should allow me to be connected. Can't be out of range. I might get lucky here. Might get very, very lucky and uh, fluke it out. <laughs> All little mechanics, huh? With enough patience, you'll uh, you'll get it. Okay. That's pretty close. Thirty one seconds in five minutes, okay. Hopefully my connection doesn't break in between now and then. Shouldn't do. We should be okay. Know that very shortly I need to ditch some of these satellites and get them into uh, get them to either re-enter or uh, into more useful orbits. Generally, just clean up the system. Yes, that would be the ideal way of going. Let's put satellites out here and, and do it. But I'm still working my way through and learning how to do things. We're, at least we're getting connections now from the, the Kerbidon sats. At least we were. I'm just coming over to the ascending node. a little bit excessive. That's a little bit closer. There we go. Now we're getting somewhere. Yes, right. There we go. Turn everything off. Quick. Are we pointed north? We're north. That's close enough. 
We should get that. Oh, yes, we got it. 100 grand. Love it. All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, that will do it for this uh, stream. It was only a short one. It's bedtime for yours truly. So thank you very much for joining in. If you'd like to uh, tune in again, the uh, best way of knowing when I stream is actually to follow me here on Twitch. Why is that drifting? This is concerning me. Wait, go back this way. Stop wobbling. Yeah, follow me here on Twitch. Uh, is the best way of knowing when I stream. Quick, go to the back to the space center. Uh, or follow me on Twitter. Now, I hope I've set this up right. Booyah. Oh, that's actually interesting to know. Hmm. Anyway, uh, so ooh, we've got a little bit of science here. So we could, uh, we could potentially. Oh, what do we want to unlock? Ooh, 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 ooh. Um, Wow, that sounds really cool. Thrust plate multi adapter. Let's buy this. Righty up. So that's that uh, done. Thank you very much, everyone, for joining in. Um, and I look forward to seeing you in the next stream.